Have you ever had the situation where you wanted to test a webhook or, um, you know, just share something, your new website with someone outside of your network, um, but you don't have it deployed yet? You don't want to deploy it yet? Um, well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a tool called Ngrok uh, that will allow you to do just that. You could just spin up this tool, create a tunnel uh, with a outside accessible address that will just pipe it into your local machine so you can just debug over it. Um, make sure that your family can see your new website. It's pretty awesome. Let's go check it out. Here I have just a file new Azure function application. So uh, if you don't know what that is, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make some more videos about serverless and Azure functions. Um, but this basically is, you know, just a simple HTTP um, endpoint that you can call upon, um, in this case with both a get and post. Um, and then it will do some, you know, this is just a template code. So this will just log some information to the console. Um, it will see if there's a name parameter and then it will output some text. Uh, but actually the code is not important here, but just so you know what is going on here. Um, what I want to focus on is uh, the tool that I mentioned, um, Ngrok. And um, that allows you to make a tunnel from your local machine to the uh, big bad interwebs. So, you know, uh, that you can just have that public URL and um, have other people call into that, or maybe you're testing a webhook and you want that to, um, uh, you know, call into your local machine so you can start debugging that locally. Um, so let's first quickly look at their website. So um, they're, Advertise it the same way. Um, Ngrok exposes local service behind NATs and firewalls to the public internet over secure tunnels. Um, because, you know, as we will see in a minute, you can just leave this running. Um, so you have to be a little bit careful because you're just opening a port to the internet, um, circumventing maybe your corporate network or firewalls or whatever. Um, so you have to be a little bit careful with that. But, you know, as long as you do that for um, just a short time to, to test some things, then um, you should probably be okay. Um, so the important bit here, I mean, there's a lot of information. You just have to download, connect, access from anywhere. That's what we're going to see. Um, what it's good for, you know, running personal cloud services, um, um, showing your website without deploying, uh, the webhook that I just mentioned, uh, maybe more specific to what you find more on this channel, test your mobile apps that is um, against uh, a, a local backend, um, and you know other things as well. Anything you can come up with, any scenario where you might need to access code that is running locally on your computer, you can do this with Ngrok. So um, there is also some uh, paid uh, versions, so have a look at that. I will talk a, a little bit about that in a little bit. Um, but you can also, that's the more important part, just download it um, and uh, it's available for Windows, uh, Mac OS, Windows, Linux. Um, so, you know, uh, there is there is something for everyone. Um, you can also download it through, uh, you know, like Homebrew for Mac OS um, and probably the, the package managers in Linux. Um, so lots of ways to, to get um, this lovely tool. So um, enough of that. Let's just look into what it does. So here I have the Azure function again and I have it already running. So whenever you run an Azure function, then you will uh, get this console window like this and it will tell you like, hey, you can um, go to this function by going to this URL. Um, so let's copy this one and um, go back to our browser and put it in here. So I'll just paste this. And whenever I then add like the name um, query parameter here and you can see that um, the output will come. Hello, Gerald, HP triggered function executed successfully. So that's awesome. Uh, now imagine that this is an Azure function that will be invoked by a webhook. Um, the other day I was working on a webhook incoming from GitHub um, and you want to test that locally because normally you would um, upload this um, Azure function into the cloud and um, you know then it's kind of harder to, there's still a lot of good stuff, but it's harder to debug it there. So um, what you really want to do is just debug it locally and then whenever you deploy it, you know it's ready um, to go. So what you can do for that is use Ngrok. So let's open this um, terminal here and zoom this in for you a little bit too. And then when we um, go in here, you can just do Ngrok uh, minus H maybe. 
to see all the commands here. Um, so you get a little bit of description and you can see some examples. So this is actually made the, the most important examples that you will probably use, uh, probably this top one. So you can also specify the protocol that you want to be using. So um, ngrok HTTP 80 will make a tunnel from uh, the internet over HTTP to port 80. And um, whenever you go to the address that is supplied to you by ngrok, you will be connected to the port 80 on your local machine. Um, so same thing for the one below, uh, which goes to port 8080. But here you can specify a subdomain, which is what I'll be showing you, uh, because else you will get a random um, address that is a little bit hard to guess, but um, also a little bit harder to memorize. And um, this is I think this is a paid feature, the subdomain. Um, I have a paid account, so I'm able to to show you that else you will get a random address. And if you're using the free tier, that random address will only work for eight hours. Uh, which is, you know, more than a laugh. Um, for for just I mean it's a work day so what do you need more right it's a good reminder to stop working and just disconnect um, because it will do that automatically for you um, so there's other options here go check that out for yourself if you need it you can also do TCP um, you can connect whole um, domain names with this um, I think that's all paid um, um, features so look into that if you need it um, there are some other things here as well some other commands so um, look into that um, so if I just do ngrok, um, I won't specify the subdomain now. So HTTP 7071, which is the um, default port for our Azure function. Um, and whenever we do this, you can see this status window popping up. Um, session state is online. So here you will see a countdown whenever you use the free version. Um, you can see I'm logged in because it knows my name and I'm on the basic plan. So that's good. Uh, you can specify different regions, I think. So I'm connected to the United States now. Uh, you might want to connect to something closer to you if you want uh, like lower connection times and that kind of stuff. There's also here a web interface. I will go into that in a little bit. But the really important part is here these forwarding things. So you can see I didn't specify the subdomain. So I will get the random addresses here, you will get both the HTTP and HTTPS ones. Um, so that is pretty cool. And down here, you will see like the calls coming up that we do to this addresses. So whenever I um, do this one, and I paste that here in a browser, um, we go back to our terminal, you can see our function app is uh, running. And you can see here it tries to find some uh, fav icon, uh, that's probably something from the browser, and it gets the 200 okay, because you know, it serves us like the um, default Azure function uh, website that it's up and running. Uh, so actually, let's make this a little bit better and run this on HTTPS. That's uh, a bit nicer. And whenever I now go to the endpoint of my function, so function one um, name is hello from the other side. So, you know, this is still running on my local computer, of course, but this is now going through like the outside, if you will. Um, and uh, you can invoke this. So try this on your own machine, you can invoke this from um, another machine that is outside of your network. So that is pretty, pretty cool. And also, like if you again, if you're working like with a webhook, you can just specify this address um, into your webhook configuration, and it will call into your um, local machine. So and then if you have like this function running, um, then we can just put a breakpoint here. And whenever we reload this, it will just hit that breakpoint as if it were um, invoked locally. And you could just step through this and inspect all the things. So, um, you know, that is pretty powerful and cool whenever you need to debug and run this um, local things of your server side. Um, or, or webhook implementation or whatnot. Um, so if we quickly go back to ngrok here, you can see all the calls are coming in. Um, so there's also the web interface that is also supplied with ngrok. So if we go there, um, you will basically see a lot of the same information, but now in a nice um, web interface. And you can inspect like the um, requests here in a little bit more detail. So you can see what headers came in, um, the, what the raw request was what it is in binary if you're like really hardcore, um, and also what the response was. So here you can see a little bit more about what is going on, um, which is, um, yeah, pretty, pretty cool, I think. So here are a bunch of statistics um, that you might want to um, look into. So that's cool. Um, 
Now, if you want to run this with your own uh, subdomain, so uh, let's do this. So if we look back at this one, um, you can here see like the subdomain one. So if I um, copy this one and paste it in here and I make this subdomain uh, my username because you know that is uh, what it is everywhere except for the YouTube channel that you're watching, unfortunately. Um, and we do 7071 again. So now it runs, you can see on this um, address right here. So that makes it a little bit more predictable. Um, and if I just copy that and um, well, just let's do this one API function one uh, name is I don't know something random. Um, would you like to subscribe to my channel? I don't know, maybe maybe you have some channel that you're watching right now that you want to subscribe to. Um, you can see breakpoint is invoked, we can just continue. Um, and here we go, there we have the same output, uh, but now through my own subdomain. So this is a really powerful tool if you want to debug all your things, and you want to connect to your local running um, applications and debug through them. Now, as mentioned, there is a couple of paid features. But um, as far as I know, you can just use the free version for eight hours, um, you know, and then you can just go out of it, um, do another eight hours, you will get another random URL, but you can do that as much as possible as much as you like. Um, and you know, there's no ads, no nothing, I don't know how they do it. Um, so there's probably a catch somewhere, maybe you should think so. I don't know, go check that out for yourself. But um, you know, if this is a tool you like, and you find that you're using it a lot, because I know I did, then I think there is a small amount to pay. Um, whenever you uh, have the possibility to do that, I think I paid $60 for a year, uh, which will allow you to connect to other regions, give your own subdomain, uh, which is pretty awesome. And that supports the developer. Um, if this is a video you liked, please like it. Let me know in the comments. Um, if you have been using this tool, do you know about it already? Uh, maybe something that you want to see else? Do you want to see a little bit more about Azure Functions? Let me know. Um, and please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you for my next video.